Eeps! Very exciting news today as Halloween Horror Nights has officially announced the next house coming to their event and multi-day ticket options are now on sale. Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. Or we just skipped to exactly 32 seconds in the video. Jeez, another conspiracy theory? There's no hidden stuff in the park. <sighs> Let me text Jordan. Okay, I gotta go. Ava's almost here. you just saw stranger things season four is coming to this year's halloween horror nights event now stranger things has been featured before at the event to varying degrees of effect um you know the, i think the first house worked out really well second house not as well i think it kind of depends on the actors in the house versus um anima well not animatronics but like mannequins or things like that um so we'll see what they do with stranger things season four now, it, if it's been a while since you've seen Stranger Things Season 4, I think some of the things we can expect are obviously a return to Hawkins Lab. You know, they feature that pretty predominantly in Season 4. Uh, also, the Creel House. We'll probably get to see the Creel House. In fact, the press release for the house, uh, the Halloween Horror Nights house, does say we'll see the Creel House. It also says we'll see Vecna's Mindscape. So obviously Vecna, the main villain of Season 4, will be featured heavily in the house coming to Halloween Horror Nights. We'll see the demo bats. And of course, it seems pretty likely we'll see some interpretation of that iconic Eddie Munson scene um, that just had everyone fall in love with the character featured near the end of that season. And we'll probably hear Running Up That Hill featured through the house. So I think Stranger Things Season 4 is probably one of the best seasons of Stranger Things, if not one of my favorite seasons of... It's probably my favorite season of Stranger Things. Maybe the first season and the fourth season. I think it lends itself really well to a Halloween Horror Nights house. You get new creatures. You get Vecna, who's kind of this Freddy Krueger-esque um, big bad character with great creature design. You get the demo bats. You get a number of different locations like we said the lab um the hawkins lair excuse me the hawkins lab vecna's mind lair mindscape and, and his lair um the creel house those are just great locations that will make themselves really um that, that will just really pop as halloween horror nights like rooms throughout the house um i don't know if this is going to be one of the sound stage houses but if it is they can certainly fill up um, a great deal of space with all the cool things that you saw in Stranger Things season four. So for me, this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, like I said, Stranger Things could go either way, but I think this season, it could particularly lend itself well to a Halloween Horror Nights house. Also, all multi-day tickets are now on sale for Halloween Horror Nights, including the Russia Fear Pass, which is good for the first 18 nights of the event, the Frequent Fear Pass, which is good for up to 30 nights and includes Sundays through Thursdays plus the entire first weekend. The Frequent Fear Plus Pass, which includes everything from the Frequent Fear Pass plus Friday nights, plus the first and last Saturday event nights. And the Ultimate Frequent Fear Pass, which includes every night of the event plus free regular parking after 5pm on all event nights. 
as an important note for this year, when selecting your Halloween Horror Nights multi-night event tickets, you will need to select the start date of the pass. The first date using the pass must be on or after the selected start date. So if you are planning on attending opening night of the event, make sure to select opening night as the start date of your pass. And you'll have access to all remaining eligible Halloween Horror Night event dates after that selected start date, depending on the type of ticket you've purchased. What do you guys think about Stranger Things Season 4 coming to Halloween Horror Nights? And what do you think about this year's ticket options? I mean, same ticket options we've seen before, but prices are definitely higher. Um, looking at the Russia Fear Pass, which is the one we normally get, um, the price, I think, was like $100 more for the Russia Fear with Express than it was last year, which is pretty significant. I mean, that's a pretty significant price increase. Obviously, the event has more dates than ever before, but still, it's a lot. Of, it's a it's a it's a big price increase. Uh, now, obviously, regardless, we'll still be there. But curious to hear your thoughts, so definitely leave us a comment down below about that. Leave us a comment down below about what your thoughts are on Stranger Things. And while you're down there typing away, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll be around a while. We'll be covering Halloween Horror Nights through the event. Hit that notification bell so that you know when we release our next video and give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like this content so we can give you more of it. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.